Hello everybody and welcome back to some Dead Cells. We are back once more and I do just want to go over a quick few things before I get into this episode. First of all, I am pre-recording this. The first episode has not gone out yet, so I do apologize if there's something that I don't address from that last episode's comments in this episode. Secondly, um, I am currently using a mod that uh, speeds up the progression of the game, it increases the amount of cells and blueprints you get by a decent amount. Essentially because I thought that with this series, we're not going to be playing the game as much as you would in a regular playthrough. And I already prior did a series last year, so I want to try and speed our way to that... To that um, part of the progression a little earlier and I'm hoping that you guys are okay with that but do let me know what you think. Uh, also the mod that I'm using hasn't been updated for the re latest release yet. It seems to be functional but there could be some incompatibility so we'll have to see. Anyways let's just jump in and see what's going on. Odd kind of place no matter how you look at it. I imagine this will be a sight to behold when the collectors have lit up all the flasks. Indeed. You're working on it aren't you? Obviously you're chipping away at it. Like all the others. Indeed I am. So, we should be able to uh, get a decent more things. Ooh. Oh. Oh, this is from uh, the new DLC. Hello? Dear Prisoner. Tired of killing the same monster over and over? Not really. I just started, but okay. Bored of the landscapes of this small island? Well, I definitely am. I think we can help each other. Meet me in the sewers where I'm restocking food. Interesting. Okay. This one calls the Hyper Light Drifter. Ha, <laughs> nice. Subject's Hollow Knight, but how? Guacamole. Oh, this is cool stuff. Curse of the Dead Gods as well. This is from the uh, the All Together, All Together integration. But yeah, um, so we did get the ability to get some um, get some new uh, new stuff. But as you can see, that's already a hell of a lot more cells. Uh, so that seems to be working just fine. I don't actually know how how it works with um, the I'm going to turn down the sound effects volume a little bit. Do you know what? We'll turn down the ambient as well. Why not? Let's just turn everything down a little bit. Just to make it so it's not quite as loud. There you go. But yeah, we're already seeing here a lot more cells. I'm actually quite liking this notch burr, by the way. This notch burr seems great. We're going to try and make our way to the sewers here. I didn't even see that enemy there. I didn't even see that enemy. But yeah, oh my god. This is a lot more cells. I don't actually know specifically how many more it is. I think it said 10 times, which is kind of absurd, to be honest. But I have already, like, maxed out most of the things. This is just me going through them again. So I think it's... At least I hope it's okay. Uh, I think this is... Oh, no. I was going to say, I think this is the sewers. It's not. We shall see what we end up getting here. Hey, chest off the bat. Nice. Ooh, and we got the blood sword again. Uh, we That proved to be very useful last time. Here we go. This is the way to... Um, this is the way to get to the sewers. We haven't been to the sewers yet, but this is clearly the way that we need to go to get to the new DLC area, so I'm very willing to try it out. God damn, this bow is so good. This bow is so good. God damn, it's so fast firing. Like, it reloads real fast as well. There you go, the toxic sewers. I know we haven't got any scrolls in that first area, which means... Probably shouldn't be going through here, but we do get our uh, under two minutes 20 extra cells here So that's gonna be good and this is a new area for us at least on this playthrough So we'll see what we can end up getting out of this. There you go. We get ourselves the, the throwing knife um, Cause enemy to bleed automatically targets the nearest enemy Shots pierce the first target Do you know what that sounds pretty good? Um, I'm gonna take it over this probably not a good idea to go double ranged <laughs> <laughs> I'll admit, but I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. I've never really done this before, but anyways, as you can see, we've managed to get quite a lot of good stuff here. Um, so we'll obviously put into this, and then with 46 left, we want to be unlocking as many things as we possibly can here, so I think Quick Bow being the cheapest thing to unlock, we go for that first, and then we'll go for probably... Light speed seems interesting. Maybe we should go for some of these. Um, Predator, melee kills, making you invisible seems pretty good. Increase your health by 7%. That's pretty good. Um, melee attacks restore a small amount of HP depending on... Ooh, we definitely want that. Uh, and then we actually get the quick bow here as well. Inflicts a critical if the target has more than three hours in them. Um, it is colorless. 
The DPS is a little higher, but honestly, the Notch Burst seems a little bit like mod, more like my jam, so I'm going to stick with that. Uh, and then we can up this a little bit. Yeah, there you go. And there you go. Why not? That was quite a lot of money to spend there, I'll be honest. We probably shouldn't have spent all of that, but let's see. Um, we we got quite a lot of use at a Necromancy last time. Um, so only up to a maximum of 50%. Critical hits reduce skill cooldown by a lot less. Oh my god, that's not very much at all. Um, extra damage to no enemies near us. Range skill. Do you know what? Let's try that. Let's try the, the, the range skills and try and stay a little bit further away from things. We'll see how that ends up going. But yeah, I'm excited to be jumping back into this game again. I haven't actually seen how the first episode did yet. Like I said, I've been, I'm basically waiting to upload the first episode until the art is done. I do actually have a character, Turtle Melon character for Dead Cells. But um, my... Uh... Ooh, hello. Come here a second. A little slow, but you seem to understand what I'm saying. I lost uh, I lost my rune, so you see I'm a little stuck and I need my rune. I wouldn't mind fi uh, finding it for me, would you? Okay, let's do it. Thank you, it's somewhere around these sewers. Bring it back to me quick. Okay, I believe what I was going to say is I do actually already have art, but my um, the person that creates the art for me actually recently... Um... Oh, we got little biters. Hello. Um, recently started making his out on PC. He used to make it on his mobile, believe it or not, which is crazy. Um, we're gonna go purple this time. Yeah, uh, and he recently moved over to like PC art, which is um, you can make considerably better art. Not that any of his art is bad, but it has a lot more ability to um, to create. So he's uh, moved over to that, and he's gonna start making some stuff for my channel on there. And it's not the first character he's made. I think da uh, the Darkest Dungeon Two one is the first character he made. Um, on that god this is incredible i was thinking this throwing knife was going to be a bit of a risky grab you know but this is awesome this is like absolutely shredding absolutely shredding gotta watch out for the scorps god damn we can just leave the biters to like do their own thing I'm kind of liking the obscene amount of cells we're getting right now. This should speed up progression quite a bit, which is a good thing. We don't have to keep this mod on for long. Basically, my idea with this is 10 times might be a bit too much. I might be a bit too generous. My, my thinking with this was I need to, or I want to make sure we don't have to do custom mode runs to, to like farm cells off camera or even on camera because... They're, they can be a bit dull, and we don't really need to do that, so... I just didn't want to unnecessarily add extra work into this series, especially considering I already had a fairly well-progressed save file. I thought it was kind of a bit of unnecessary stuff. But this is, this is a genuinely absurd amount of cells that we're getting right now. The bleed on this thing's so strong. Like, normally, by the way, just, just for reference to people, normally on this stage, you get around 40 cells. Oh, I can't believe I got hit there. I must have been so close to the 30 kills mark. Oh, hello. A small hole. Not quite sure what that's about. Yeah, I don't really know where I'm going here. I'm just looking for this this dude that's restocking food, apparently, is what he said. I think it was something along those lines. God, I've never considered a ranged weapon as a primary before, but this is incredible. Oh, we got the balanced blade as well. I do quite like the balanced blade. Maybe I'll do that and then that. It's pretty good. I killed two rats and I get like a thousand cells. I'm on 260, is this nuts? This is genuinely absurd. Yeah, maybe I need to lower it to like two times or three times. Anyways, this is my first time trying this out, so. 
Don't hate the player, hate the game. I don't hate either one because neither of us did anything wrong. Oh, that's not an extra, like, route to go. Oh, that guy's got a big explosion radius. Holy hell. Was not ready for that. Is this the start again? No, it's not. No! I came so far again. I'm getting so close and then just buggering it all. Oh my god. The, oh, that guy's the elite. Okay, that makes more sense as to why I took so much damage. Got him. Ooh, we got Ice Blast. That's potentially pretty interesting. I'm gonna take that off my balance blade and then swap that around again. No. Okay, there you go. I might need to heal again here. I'm running pretty low. It's here. My run's just a bit further on. Okay, I'm just going to heal before I do this, just in case. I don't know what lies for me down here. Another one of these boys. Out of ammo. Okay, ammo is clearly a problem. We get this. I don't know what this one is. Oh, this is the uh, the little boom slap. Nice. Okay. But do I like go back to this guy now? Okay. There ain't nobody here. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do with that then. Here's a chest as well. A Sinu Slicer as well, are you kidding me? Why, hello there, sir. I don't think there's anything there I really want from you, to be honest. There's the ramparts, but I've not found the food guy yet. I feel like I've got to find the food guy first. He seems imperative to our mission. Okay. So, see, I didn't actually realize that I thought I was collecting ammo back off of enemies when I uh, ran over them. What's actually happening is just that I'm um, regaining ammo back over time or when I kill things. So I've got to be a little bit careful of my ammo consumption here. Especially when there's, like, not that many enemies around. Right. I know I'm slow on this stage here, but I think it's kind of worth the extra effort. Right, there's another teleport thing over here. We should at least try and utilize that, because we don't know where that goes. Boom. Ah, that just brings us to here, which allows us to grab that. I see. So we don't really want that. We can just um, destroy that. That's a nice little ad additional extra we can grab ourselves. Okay, so maybe, maybe it doesn't show up every time, because I believe we've seen everything we can here. There is a, a lower level right here that I'm seeing that I don't currently see a way for us to get to. Okay, so I guess for now we'll just leave it and we'll go to the ramparts. Let's just get the hell out of here. Ooh, we made it in eight minutes as well. We get our extra bits. It's a good sign. But goddamn, we got a lot of cells there. Holy hibbity heck. We'll probably take that. I was not expecting to get quite this many. We can uh, unlock quite a few things here. So we'll go Frenzy, because that seems great. We can lock our next health flask. We'll do that next. Um, unlock one more item. So we'll go... Predator, I guess. Finish that off. And then... Random start a melee weapon. Hell yes. 
We got a hundred left, pretty much. Um, increase health by recover HP when parrying. Attacking a frozen stunned rooted enemy reduces skill cooldown. Works with both melee and ranged. That seems really good. Um, but I don't know if it's the best. Maybe we'll just like unlock the flint, and then like we'll go with like the heart of ice as well. And we'll put the the rest into just recycling, I guess. There you go. And we do actually get a flint for doing that, which is pretty nice. Um, we should maybe take this as a, as a like a secondary resort. We noticed that running out of ammo there was particularly quite bad. So I think we should go with uh, upgrade and restock. Stuns the victim seems pretty good. Um, and then we can upgrade that as well. Yeah, and extra damage to stunned targets. That sounds like a pretty good combo to me. Um, and then I think we go with Frenzy, which I realize we're not going to get extra benefits from. Maybe I should have gone with one of the green ones, or, or one of the purple ones, I suppose. But I think I think this is pretty good, though, nonetheless. We'll top this bad boy up again, and we'll head on our way into the ramparts. I am liking how much faster we're going at the minute, though. That's kind of nice. It's, the, the cells thing is going to take me a little while to get used to. I'm, I'm sure some of you will, will probably take issue with it being a little too generous. And maybe I can go into the mod's config files and like tweak how many more cells it gives. Because I'd rather go for like three times rather than what, what we have right now, which is just literally absurdity. I'm liking the biters a lot. Oh, uh, this is the one where we can charge it up. Look, watch. Whoa, bam. I don't know how effective the charge is. Um, oh, there's another. Okay, I really cocked this up. God damn it. I really cocked that up. I didn't realize the, ex the other enemy that was there next to me. I'm going to just use my potion again, I'll be honest. The biters will get you. They'll get you. Like, once we get two bleed on them, they just insta-gib. Pretty awesome. Okay, we'll keep going down. Ooh, that was a that was a spicy hit you got on me there. Lightning bolt is pretty awesome. We're not getting that many scrolls at the minute. We definitely need to be focusing a little more on the scrolls. Oh wait, I just realized our flint is purple as well because it's uh it was a colorless. So it's benefiting from um Colorlesses are so fun. That's such a such a good game mechanic to have like versions of them that you can find that can be used in any build. I think that's a really cool design choice. Ooh, having the knife's auto aim too is another really good thing here. We need like some something that does things, some like mutation that does extra stuff on bleeding. That'd be ace. Hey, got chest as well. It's a beautiful day. Doon, doon. We'll just uh, recycle that. Back up there. I need to basically make sure that I'm not backtracking and actually using those appropriately, the teleporters, because. As I was saying in the last episode, I really don't use them anywhere near enough, and they are a very good time-saving device. Of course, not all of them, not all of the areas like this have them, so it's not always going to end up being the savior of our time, but when it is, it is. When it isn't, it isn't. Simple as. Yeah, basically, just throw two. Oh, that was a really bad move. Oh, we did get a small med kit there, though. And we do... Do you know what? I'm going to heal again. You, we've, we've got... I've got a sort of, like, remove my negative stigma around um, healing. When we've got as many heals as we do, it's pretty free. Nice. 
Unfortunately, this isn't really what we want. We can at least get quite a lot of health out of this. The health isn't of the biggest concern, but it is nice to get more than we can. There you go, like that. Oh, this, game, this game just plays so damn smooth as well. That's, that's one thing that I don't give this game enough credit for. The movement is gorgeous. I just It's just beautiful to play. Maybe something that I need to do just to make the uh, the whole cells thing a little less jarring is just remove or turn down the sound when you collect a cell. I'm sure there's a, um, a menu option for that or something similar. Yet another one of these, unfortunately. I know you don't want to really do spreads here, but it's going for whatever gives us the most HP at the minute. Still just using a throwing knife here. It's working out fantastically for me. Ooh, what's this? There's like a little ledge. Um, I'm guessing there's something we want up there, but I don't know what it is. There you go. We're up to Blackbridge now. First boss. Shouldn't have too hard of a problem taking this guy out. I think we made it in time. I think it's 12 minutes for this one. Maybe it's longer. Maybe 16. I think it's 12 though. Oh no, this one doesn't have a timer. I'm a doofus. Right, Lightning Bolt will definitely go ahead and grab. Um, then the rest are just going to recycling because we're just about to hit that. There you go. Ooh, we, I forgot we're going to get this. Increase your movement speed for five seconds after killing enemy. That's pretty awesome. This is kind of a difficult one. Um, hold hold uh, to deal crits. Inflicts extra shock damage. I mean, I guess I'll try it out. It, it's, it's, it seems pretty good. I should have done the key extra damage to bleeding enemies. I really should have kept that. I didn't think about that. There you go. That's what, whatever. We'll, we'll stick with that. Um, melee kills make you invisible. I don't know how valuable that is, but I'm going to take it. I know it's not valuable for this boss fight in particular, but it seems like an interesting one. I don't know how good being invisible actually is. It might be one of those ones that sounds a lot more practical than it actually is in play. But I think we've got the opportunity to, to try it out. Right, we did almost flawless this guy last time. I was very proud of myself. I doubt we'll be able to do the same again, because we don't really have the, uh, the same... We do have a lot of damage going out on this guy, though. Yeah, before we had the real ability to lock him down. Oh, dude! I just realized. Okay, I've got to be careful. The lightning bolt hurts me if I hold it too long. Like, you see how it goes yellow there? It starts to go red after that. Uh, dude, dude, you just fucking jammed me up against the wall and kept me there. So you, ah, oh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, I, I remember how this works now. You get crits while it's in yellow, but if you hold it too long, it goes red and starts hurting you. Very, very effective, but quite dangerous. Um, I mean, I can, I can actually take that pretty, pretty simply and easily. Don't think I need that. We'll get out of here. Okay, so bosses don't drop additional cells. Only enemies drop additional cells. We've got 12 from that guy. I'm pretty sure we've had 12 from a regular zombie. <laughs> we did make it on 15 minutes to this guy, though, which is pretty nice. And we got a new throwing knife, which is potential for something great. Um, I don't really see what the benefit is here. They both do the exact same damage. I guess I take the upgraded one because it's the upgraded one. But I, I personally don't really see the benefit. Oh, right. So this guy... We could, um... Okay, so I think we upgrade this to plus plus. Yeah, I, th I think I think we want to keep it like that. And this guy, we just lock in some of them. So we probably want to actually keep some cells for that guy in the future. Intriguing. Okay, that went, that went decently well. And then we want to be just going to the normal path at the minute, don't we? Stilt Village, I believe, is where we want to be going. 
We'll start making our way to the alt paths as we go along here. But at the minute, I want to kind of just get used to the game and try and get our first victory in. I definitely feel like this run could be the one, just because we're unlocking a lot of new stuff. I, I'm, I'm going to try and get used to our um, newfound electricity. Hey, what the hell's that? Oh, excuse me. I don't think he'd be able to hit me there. You were definitely able to hit me there. Okay, the the knife is still by far the best tactic here. It does it does insane damage. Oh, this guy can deflect. Okay, so I think a, a pretty good tactic here is going to be that. Yeah, that's a very good tactic. I mean, the charge up time on that is a little lengthy. God damn, that guy having that deflect is kind of. Okay, um... Okay, certain enemies we can actually use it against. Okay, this is just the shop. We don't really care about this too much. Regular shop. Yeah, I don't care about you too much. Later. Okay, so crab boys are pretty resilient to our tactics right now. Got them crab boys. <laughs> this is really enjoyable to use. Right. So there you go. Get that bleed on him. Just fuck off. Oh, that was close. There you go, that's the way to do this. Get a bit of loot in here. If I could jump up this little ledge, that'd be uh, perfect. That guy survived on like a miller bar of health. But yeah, we want to kill as many enemies as we can really with this setup. Um. Is definitely better than that. Yeah, I'll just take it over that and we'll, uh, we'll ice that fool. Nice little reward there. Yeah, the knives are, the, the knives are definitely um, not as good. Ooh, I've uh, locked myself in a little bit here. Um, I think I've locked myself out of that area, which is a bit of a shame because I kind of like what they have enough of that. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay, good. I have a little bit, actually. Dude, these crab boys, they're kind of crazy. We hit our 30 kill mark, but I believe it's 60 that we've got to hit before we get um, the actual benefits. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Cannonball in a close range space. It ain't happening, sister. It ain't happening. I just saw that cannonball roll towards me. I was like, nah. That's We got 30 kills. That's going to be our crowning achievement for now. Let's, uh, let's leave it at that. No! No! Did you see how fucked I was then? Fuck off, you little shit. Dude, these enemies do so much damage. Like, on the later difficulties, can you just legitimately never get hit? I'm guessing that's the case. Because I'm getting, I'm getting hit for like... Most of my health right now. Dude, dude, I'm about to die. Okay, this did a pretty good job. Did a pretty good job. Um. Yeah, I think we'll take that. It's a little bit better. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle. Pretty sure I said Skedaddle Scoot the exact same time last time we're on this uh, area. It's like, I want to be methodical and go through all the areas, but at the same time, I know it's not how you play this game. Hi. Oh, 
this is like a challenge area. I see. Oh no, we just need an extra key. Oh! Mm, this is another area we can go to. So if we get the village key and come back to this, we can actually uh, make our way to a new area. Pretty interesting. I like the idea. Okay, getting a lot of kills. Oh, we got a chest as well. Oh, I picked the wrong one, bugger. I mean, it's okay. We got 40% HP there, but that's not what I meant to take. Balance Blade. Ooh, it is, a, it is unfortunately a red one, though. If, it, if that was a colorless, I'd be snapping that one up. Actually, I'm, I'm liking the electric. It's just, it's taking too much brain power to effectively use, I think. Which sounds bad, considering I don't think it's really taking that much brain power at all, but... Ooh, Legendary. So these legendary portals are great. You gotta kill all the enemies nearby, and it then unlocks the power of whatever legendary it is. What the hell is that? Corrosive Cloud. It's an ability that creates a toxic cloud that lasts for 15 seconds, inflicting bleed and poison. Um, cool. This seems pretty awesome. Yeah, those legendary things are a super cool design idea as well. I've never actually used this poison cloud. It seems new, or new to me at least. I've never seen it before. So now we've got the village key. We could effectively go to a different path. I am tempted to try a different path, I will admit. Um, the, the the new and alternating paths are kind of a big part of this game. So I, <laughs> hell, why, why not? Why not? Why not try something new? It might end up being too hard for us. But why not try something different? The Forgotten Sepular. Okay. I don't know what this area is, but it sounds deadly. I think we were just a little too late to get the 18 minute door, you know. Oh, it's 26 minutes. Okay. Wow, we are, we are ahead of time, apparently. Uh, we got another throwing knife, um, which is an even better one. So I think we just take that. Although this says it has less DPS. This version has... Although this is a plus plus, so yeah, let's just go with that. We can always upgrade it. We got plenty of money. I won't say plenty, but we got a good amount of money. Right, 200 on this. Inflates a critical when you have less than 50% health or more than 50% malice. Ooh, malice is going to be interesting. Right, let's grab that. We'll go with a random start shield as well. Why not? What's the backpack do? Allows you to carry a spare weapon. Hold the interact button to empty the backpack. Ooh, that's a new feature, I think. That's a pretty cool idea. We actually do get the ability to carry the frantic sword around with us if we want to. Um, inflicts a crit. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try it out, just because I want a sword. And we can plus it, we can plus that as well. Uh, Bite and Scroll from the Dead is fun, we- we had that earlier. Extra ammo, shoot- uh, shoots ex- shots explode into toxic cloud, that's really nice. Yeah, okay, this seems good. Oh, we can actually reforge this as well. Shoots a volley of arrows, yeah, I think we do want to reforge that one a little bit. Okay, apparently the volley of arrows thing. Oh, no, there you go. Covers the oil. Um, covers, you, covers around with oil that burns around you. Ah, okay. Intriguing. I wonder how effective this is going to end up being. I'm very scared of this floor, by the way. It does not sound pleasant. There's, there's like, burns everywhere, and, yeah, it just... Is it... Oh, this is... Damn it. I know where this is. Hello. We have to give up one of our abilities. I forgot about this. We'll give up our Sydney Slicer, it's obvious, but still. Wait. I don't have enough money to buy it. I can destroy this door, but I'm pretty sure that's a really bad idea. Um, Yeah, so... This is, um, real bad. 
I'm pretty sure we are gonna die. So essentially we need to make it to these... Ooh, these poison clouds are pretty good. So basically, essentially, if we're not near one of these light sources, we're gonna get fucked. And we don't really know where these light sources are. Like, I'm traveling right now, and I, I don't see one. No. Where's one of these light sources? There's one, there's one. What the fuck is that, dude? Oh my god, I'm so dead. Oh my god, I'm so dead. What on earth is this dude? That's a big fat man that I do not understand. Ow! Fuck me. This was a mistake and a half. Why'd I even use that? That was a bad idea. Oh, wait. Wait. Secret zone discovered. Save me, secret zone. It didn't do anything for me, fuck. Oh my god, I can't believe I went down to this area. I don't even have a key. Fuck me. Oh my god. Why did I go here? Why did I attempt this? This was an ill-founded decision. That fat dude can go to hell. What the hell's that monolith thing? I, I don't think I can bleed that thing. Okay, it me it dies to melee very quickly. What on earth is all of this? I don't know what many of these enemies do and it scares me. Oh my god damn. That was also nothing. Oh wait, no it wasn't. I got the key! Ah! <laughs> this is so much pain. My god. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Crypt discovered. Is this- do, is, am I meant to be this way? There's an orb here. That's all I care about. The safety of the orb. Okay, I can't do anything over there. Oh my god. Get back over here. Another orb. Good. A scroll. This is so tense. I don't even know if this area is meant to be tense. But goddamn, I'm making it tense. Oh my lord! No, 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 no. I was not ready for that at all. <laughs> I was so not ready for that. That's an elite. Fuck me. Fuck, oh, dude. If he'd have hit me then, that would have been brown trousers this time right there. Oh, he can teleport. He can teleport. He can get me the... Liberty heck out of here. I am on 0% HP and there's no light anywhere. Never go to that stage ever again. That was the largest mistake I've ever made. Holy hell. Anyways. <laughs> oh my god.
God, that is the that is the stage I remember from the ve from the last time I played this game, and I was like, nah, never again. And of course, I accidentally go to it. God damn it, never going to that floor again unless unless I absolutely have to. God damn, that was scary. I didn't understand those enemies. I didn't understand the darkness. I didn't understand anything. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.